In this video, we're going to look at the second derivative. So it just it's really just differentiate twice. Now we're going to use it later to find stationary points, but in this video, we're just going to look at the basic second derivative of the derivative differentiating any function y or f of x, which goes to f prime x, which goes to f double prime x, or y, which goes to dy dx, which again then goes to either d squared y dx squared or d2y dx2 depending on who you listen to. So differentiate 9x squared <coughs> minus 4x plus 6 and then differentiate a second time so d squared y dx squared is going to be 18x minus 4. So attempt these nine questions here to show that you know how to differentiate twice really straightforward dy dx is equal to 2x so d squared y dx squared is equal to 2 number 2 dy dx is equal to 2x plus 2 so d2y dx squared is equal to 2 again and the third one dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 so d2y dx2 or d squared y dx squared is equal to 6x minus 6. In number 4 I'm going to change it to e to the power of 2x otherwise it's not going to change. So dy dx is equal to e to the power of 2x times 2 or 2e to the power of 2x and d squared y dx squared is equal to 2e to the power of 2x times 2, which is 4e to the power of 2x. Number 5, dy dx is going to be e to the power of 4x plus 2 times the derivative of this, which is just 4. So we're going to get 4e to the power of 4x plus 2 and d squared y dx squared is equal to the same thing again multiply by 4 so we're going to get 16 e to the power of 4x plus 2 y is equal to cos x dy dx it's going to be minus sine x and now we're differentiating minus sine x and sine x goes to cos so minus sine x goes to minus cos x so d2y dx2 is going to be minus cos x now 3 sine x goes to 3 cos x dy dx is equal to 3 cos x and if we differentiate 3 cos x we're going to get we're going to get minus 3 sine x similarly with this one dy dx it's going to give me now it's going to go from a minus if it wasn't a minus it would go to a minus so a minus by a minus is a plus so it's going to go to 2 sine x and then if we differentiate that one again, d2y dx2, we're going to get sine going to cos 2 cos x. Last one of these that I put 9 in, 9 d2y dx2 is going to be 2x plus e to the power of 2x times 2, or 2e to the power of 2x, and we're going to have minus sine x. Sorry, that's just dy dx. I'm going to put my twos in first. dy dx. d squared y dx squared is equal to 2 plus 2 to the power of 2x, 2e to the power of 2x times 2, which is going to be 4e to the power of 2x. And sine goes to the cos, so minus sine goes to minus cos. So make sure you can differentiate your function twice. And understanding what you're being asked to do when you're asked for the second derivative or f double prime x or d squared y dx squared and we move on to a couple more questions that involve the product rule and the quotient rule okay so we've followed the same thing for the product rule write down your differentiated functions we have a one and a one so it's the first dy dx the first x plus four by the second differentiated plus the second x minus two by the first differentiated, which is x plus 4 plus x minus 2. 
which is 2x plus 2. And we differentiate this a second time. We're going to get just 2. Second one of these. Dy dx is equal to. First differentiated is 2x. And the second differentiated is 1. So we're going to have x squared plus 2 by 2x plus x. Sorry, that's the first by the first differentiated. The first, so speak out loud, the first by the second differentiated plus the second by the first differentiated. Just be careful. So x squared plus 2 plus 2x squared minus 6x which is 3x squared minus 6x plus 2 and that's dy dx so the second derivative is equal to 6x minus 6 so you guys don't have any difficulty differentiating these because you've done so many of them so dy dx is equal to the first by the second differentiated plus the second by the first differentiated so we're going to get 3x squared minus 4 plus 6x squared plus 12x which is 9x squared plus 12x minus 4 so d2y dx2 is the second derivative which is 18x I left out an x here Russian 18x plus 12. Okay, let's try a couple of simple quotient rules as well. So let's follow the same procedure, differentiate each the quotient rule. That's not much of a straight line, straight line. X, the bottom to be squared on the bottom. And then we're talking about the bottom by the top differentiated minus the top by the bottom differentiated. That's going to give me just minus 3 on top and on the bottom x plus 2 to be squared. My first derivative. Now I've got to differentiate both again. The top differentiated is 0 and just a little bit of rough work. I'll do it up in the top right here. x squared plus 4x plus 4 is going to become 2x plus 4. Or using the chain rule to by x plus 2 to the power of 1. So you can do either one, multiply the bracket out or use the chain rule. So this goes to, I'll write it as 2x plus 4 for now. So we're going to have on the bottom, the bottom to be squared. So it's going to be x plus 2 to the power of 4, or x plus 2 to be squared, if you want to write it like this, to be squared. And then we have the bottom, which is x plus 2 to be squared by the top differentiated minus the top which is minus minus 3 so I'm just going to write plus 3 the bottom differentiated which is 2x sorry I left out my 3 plus 3 by the bottom differentiated which is 2x plus 4 so we can simplify this down we're going to get 6x plus 12 on top and on the bottom we're going to have x plus 2 to the power of 4 now it looks like there's an x plus 2 on top as well, so d2y dx2 is going to be equal to, what does it look like? It looks like 6 by x plus 2 on top, and x plus 2 to the power of 4 on the bottom. So one of those 4 of the x plus 2 is on the bottom, and the chain of x plus 2s will cancel with the top, so we're just left with 6 over x plus 2 to be cubed. Let's look at this one. So top differentiated, bottom differentiated, bottom to be squared, the bottom by the top differentiated minus the top by the bottom differentiated. So we're going to get minus 16x over x squared minus 3 to be squared, which is dy dx. Probably good maths to write this on each line rather than doing what I do, which is leaving a blank. So the top differentiated minus 16. The bottom differentiated is 2 times x squared minus 3 to the power of 1. Or multiply it out. 
so 2 by x squared minus 3 so again for d squared y dx squared we're going to get x squared minus 3 now you know it's to the power of 2 to the power of 2 so it's going to be to the power of 4 in the bottom and we have the bottom x squared minus 3 to be squared by the top differentiated minus the top so minus minus 16x so plus 16x by the bottom differentiated which is 2 times x squared minus 3. Now let's tidy this up. So the first thing we can probably identify is that there's an x squared minus 3 in this one and in this one so we can divide every term by x squared minus 3 so we're going to get minus 16 by x squared minus 3 just to the power of 1 so we're taking one of the twos away and we're going to have plus 32x 16 by the 2 and on the bottom x squared minus 3 just to the power of 3 now so that's going to give me minus 16 x squared plus 48 plus 32x We've all seen this mistake at this point that I just recognized. So this is going to be 2 by x squared minus 3 by the differentiated bracket of 2x. So I should have a 2x here. So that's going to give me a squared. So it would change that 32x to a 64x squared. Just always check back in your work. So we're going to end up with, and that's over x squared minus 3 to be cubed. So we're going to end up with 48x squared plus 48 over x squared minus 3 to be cubed, which is equal to 48 times x squared plus 1. If you want to factor out the top over x squared minus 3 to be cubed. So just be careful with this part here. I should have seen that and i did by just checking back my work which you should always do when you're doing these longer questions check back every couple of lines okay let's have a look at it we'll finish with these three in this video the natural logs y is equal to the natural log of x squared plus five uh, so find a second derivative second derivative dy dx is going to go to one over x or one over x plus five be multiplying by the derivative of the bracket but in this case it's just one so we've got the quotient rule so the top goes to zero bottom goes to one so the second derivative is going to be the bottom squared and the bottom by the top differentiated minus the top by the bottom differentiated so in this case we're just going to get minus one over x plus five to be squared. And this one, dy dx, going to be 1 over x squared plus 4 times 2x. So that's equal to 2x over x squared plus 4. Again, the quotient rule. This goes to 2. This goes to 2x. On the bottom, we have the bottom to be squared. And on the top, we have the bottom by the top differentiated minus the top by the bottom differentiated d2y dx2 so we're going to have 2x squared plus 8 minus 4x squared over x squared plus 4 to be squared so the second derivative becomes minus 2x squared plus 8 over x squared plus 4 to be squared now I can take, we have an x squared plus 4 on the bottom, so can I factor that top to be x squared plus 4? If I put a minus 2 outside, if I put a minus 2, I'm going to get minus 2x minus 8, so not, I can't go any further here. So this is my answer. Similar question here again, just practice will make you better at them. dy dx, 1 over x squared minus 8 times 2x so you can put the 2x on top there 2x so now we're getting the quotient rule 2 
2x d squared y dx squared is equal to on the bottom the bottom squared the bottom by the top differentiated minus the top by the bottom differentiated so we're going to get 2x squared minus 16 minus 4x squared over x squared minus 8 to be squared so we're going to get minus 2x squared minus 16 over x squared minus 8 to be squared can I go any further with this? It doesn't look the same as this one. Actually, it looks like you might be able to take a factor out on top, but if we take out, if we put an x squared minus 8 on top, if we put a 2 in front, we have 2x squared minus 16, and a minus 2 is going to give me plus 16. So we can't go any further. And this is the correct answer. So practice these second derivative questions, and we'll go on to look at differentiate, differentiate, differential even equations in the next video.